to gather again to entertain and play games. Welcome back, we're the 2-Bit Players. Jeffrey, this is my favorite level. Uh, is it because there's a lot of squirt squirting? You into squirts? <laughs> uh, I love me some squirts. Oh, squirt the drink. Yes. Dude. Right, that's what I meant the whole time. Disgusting. No, I meant that, yes. Not like a squid with its ink. The that's... squirt drink is disgusting, I agree. No. <laughs> John Oliver, I think, made a joke about squirt, and I was very offended. Because it's fucking gross? It's so Look, good. okay, it's not gross. It's fine. It's definitely my least favorite soda. It's definitely my least favorite grapefruit-flavored grapefruit soda. Grapefruit so God, fuck off! Don't you love ruby red squirt? Ruby red squirt's better, but it's too much. Anyways, who the fuck are you? I'm squirt. I am showdown. <laughs> and and together, we are Squirt's Showdown. <laughs> uh, As fucking hit, hit play. Play, I'm, what I'm, are you doing? I'm, I'm Noah. I'm Jeffrey. We're the two bit players. And we're playing. I just want to clear in case people were confused Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble 2. Yes. The sequel. To the surface. Because we already beat their single trouble. Right. What the fuck so is it's, that? It's this rock lobster that's been fused with a rock wall horrifically. You know the song Rock Lobster? No. You don't know the song Rock Lobster? No. I'm gonna pull it up. Oh god. <laughs> this song's fucking dope, dude. Okay, fine. I you saw these so. cats in concert. Um, they're, they're called the B-52s. Okay. Have you heard of them? I know of the B-52s. They do the bed rock twitch or some shit. <laughs> okay. They're from, uh... From Twitch? No, from Flintstones, you asshole. Oh, okay. This is not this oh, is an oh, ad. Oh, oh. I got I don't want to get flagged for ad copyrights. Playing people's ads. Okay, I know this. They played this at the fucking concert. Okay. It was dope as shit. Uh. Ooh. Jeffrey. Ooh. This is the Rock Lobster theme! Okay, stop it! Yeah! Stop it! The... <laughs> It's a wait, wait, he's gonna say rock lobster. Why is there a Rock oh, Lobster? I was gonna say why is there a turkey in the background? Okay, okay stop. So, okay, I'm gonna stop. I talked enough over it that I don't think we'll get back. I talked enough over it that you won't be able to understand anything that's happening. You won't be able to understand the song, and neither will YouTube, and we'll we're fine. It's okay, I beat the boss. Okay, whatever. Moving on. I went to the beach. So now, Jeffrey. I stumbled on a rock. <laughs> and there, there was a rock lobster. I don't know the lyrics. So I need to get a flower for this guy. That bear looks so fucking familiar. <laughs> it's the same bear in every single hut that Is I go that to. Is that the bear that killed my father? Yeah. <gasps> no, that bear does look like, uh, oh, from fucking um, Splash Mountain. Okay. Brer? No, Brer Rabbit. Brer Bear. Are they all Brer? Brer Bear, yeah. Then who was his buddy? Brer Fox. Brer Fox and then Brer Bear? And Brer Bear and Brer have, Rabbit. Have you seen Song of the South? No, but I've read Splash Mountain and I've read that article about the five times that the animatronic fox told me he was going to marry my dad. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot about that. That's the best oh my piece God. of internet content I've ever read. On Clickhole? Yeah. There was an article about the, the what, what it, was it? It's parodying those like listicles. So Clickle is a as a sister company of the Onion. So the Onion is is a lot more famous. They do the news that's complete horseshit and mm -hmm. they just make up the most ridiculous stuff. Clickhole is like that to like almost like a dream state of like ridiculousness. <laughs> okay. And this article was uh, the guy who went on Splash, Splash Mountain. Mountain but he was saying like Splash Mountain isn't as good as I remember or something because like Br'er Fox told me five separate times through the ride that he was going to marry my father. Marry my dad. <laughs> and it's and like, number five is the time an animatronic version of my dad showed up on the ride yeah. and told me how, how glad he was to be marrying the fox and how he's going to cherish the marriage more than he loves having a son. <laughs> and like at the end, the fox was dressed in the, in the, in the wedding dress. Yeah. And the father was up there and they uh, were getting married at the end. I wasn't watching the thing and I missed the whole thing. Let's see what it goes here. I'm actually gonna look at the splash mountain. You look that up, I'm gonna I'm gonna tune out for a second. Uh, 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 Damn it! 
I'm just going to read you the title of the article. Okay, fine. I found it. You keep entertaining the audience. You were correct. It was five, five. Five times the animatronic fox on Splash Mountain addressed me by name and told me he was going to marry my dad. <laughs> That's the fucking title of the article. I'll, okay, I'll just read you the... I won't read you the descriptions, but number one, the time the animatronic fox made eye contact with me. Yep. Two... And then there's a little description under it. The time the animatronic fox kept talking about how long the wedding would take yeah. when he married my dad. It's also so very specific. He's like, I'm going to marry the shit out of your religious father. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to be married in the eyes of Christ. <laughs> Such an aggressive article. <laughs> Three, the time the animatronic fox told me that he was going to wear my clothes when he married my dad. Also, the wedding ceremony is going to be five hours long, and nobody will, there will be very little food, and everyone will be forced to bring a, 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 plate, <laughs> a plate of water for their own enjoyment. Yeah. Uh, for the time the fox's voice came out of the animatronic goose, because it's like, I just couldn't stay away from that incredible job. Oh, he kept doing the ride over and over again. Right, because the, the drop at the end, just he just couldn't Which stay away. so good. And then, yeah. He was like, oh, good, I escaped the fox. But then the goose started talking to him as the fox. And then number five, the time an animatronic model of my dad appeared next to the fox. And then there's a photo of it. It's fucking great. It's like nightmare fuel. That's a great article, though. My favorite article is mm -hmm. um, by far the Tobey Maguire insisting he be called Tugboat, Tugboat Maguire. Maguire. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'll just read you the title of that. I fucking love Clickball. I don't even know. I, I found it through Facebook. Hmm. And they were just posting the wildest shit. I didn't understand that Clickhole was exclusively parody. I oh, thought yeah. it was a reliable news network. Six times Toby Maguire had a public meltdown because nobody would call him Tugboat Maguire. And then there's a photo of him super fucking pissed yelling at some paparazzi for probably <laughs> some paparazzi for probably an asshole. And but it it's just like and there's a whole GQ article at the end. I'll just read that. Okay. Um oh Vanity Fair. Um, Vanity Fair. Toby, you've played reading, leading roles and character roles. How do you, um, how does your preparation change depending on your role, if at all? Toby McGuire. You called me Toby again. Vanity. Yes, I did. That is your name. Toby. I told you very clearly that I'm going by Tugboat McGuire. Vanity. I'm not calling you Tugboat. Toby. <laughs> I'm asking to be called Tugboat. No, I'm not asking to be called Tugboat. I'm asking to be called Tugboat McGuire. You have to say the full thing. Vanity, let's continue with the interview. Toby, I'd be happy to, just as soon as you call me Tugboat McGuire. Vanity, let's talk about the legacy of Seabiscuit. Toby, my publicist, Donna, should have alerted you to the fact that you have to call me Tugboat McGuire. Donna, uh, Donna calls me Tugboat McGuire, and she doesn't have a problem with it. If Donna didn't prep you about calling me Tugboat McGuire, let me know, and I'll fire her right now. Vanity. Ah, ah, Jeffrey, what's happening? Shut up. What? Ah. What did you do? I don't know. Oh, you pressed this fucking lot, the button Damn in it. the middle. Oh, thank you. It's gone. You ruined my flow. I was almost done. Go I'm going to finish it anyways. Vanity. I'm that start again. That won't be necessary. Uh, I guess I should say Tugboat. Tugboat. I'll fire her anyways. Donna, get in here. Donna Stern. Yes, Tugboat McGuire? Tugboat. You're fucking fired. Take a hike. <laughs> Take a hike. Uh, Donna. What? Vanity, Toby, you don't have to do this. Uh, let's not do this here. Uh, tugboat, it's fucking Tugboat McGuire, you shithead. <laughs> and then the article ends. Oh my god. Oh, and again, there's there's five, no, six instances of that. That's one. That's the last. That's one of them. Um, I love god, that. Article. That's so fucking funny. It's fucking Tugboat McGuire, <laughs> you shithead. I want that on a t-shirt, <laughs> and I want that on tugboat. my tombstone. I want that, <laughs> and I want Toby to wear it. Mm. Tobus, Tobias McGuire. Send it, send it to him. Is Toby chauffeur Tobias? Yes. No, it's chauffeur Tugboat. <laughs> I didn't know his name was Tobias. Tobias McGuire? Ew. It's not Tobathin. I just never thought about it. Toby is Tobias. Tobias Maguire plays yeah. Spider-Man? Tobias Maguire. Just like John is short for uh, Janias. Just like Sean is short for Jonathan. Right. And Jeffrey's short for Jeff Jeffria. Jeff Jeffire. Jeffathan? Jeff Jeffathan. Everything short. Yeah. Noathan. You know, speaking of Vanity Fair, um, I was listening to a bunch of podcasts on Game of Thrones, Cast of Kings, and Storm of Spoilers. Yes. Uh, both have Vanity Fair's own writer, Joanna Robinson, as one of the hosts. 
And on Cast of Kings, <laughs> her co-host always refers to her as like the full name. He's like, so how was your day today, Joanna R R Robinson? <laughs> so I've decided that because the podcasts are over now, the Game of Thrones is, uh -huh. I'm going to, uh, in solidarity, call you Jeffrey McAndrew by your full name. My full name. Never, never, never uh, anything less. Never anything less. That's Jeffrey my pledge McAndrew. to you, Jeffrey McAndrew. <laughs> Could you please not? No, why? Just don't even say my name, dude. Okay. I'm trying to disassociate myself from this channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'd like you to please call me Tugboat McGuire. Please now. call me Tugboat McGuire. McAndrew. Tugboat McAndrew, you shithead. Um, I love that. Do you think with, um, so the new Spider-Man movie's coming out. Uh, oh, Far From Home? Far From Home. I was going to say Dark Tomorrow. Far From Homecoming? What's Dark Tomorrow? I don't know. Thor? No, that's Dark World. What is Dark Dark Tomorrow? There's Dark Fate. Transformers? Who fucking knows? I don't give a shit. Far From Home. And uh, it's introducing the multiverse. Oh. Do you think we'll get a Spider-Man 4 with Tugboat McGuire? With all, we'd get a remake of um, Into the Spider-Verse, but uh -huh. with Andrew Garfield and Tugboat McGuire. And Tom Holland. I would be down as fuck. I love the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films. I have them. The third one wasn't the best, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad, but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> um, I would, yeah, I would be super fucking stoked. Hmm. I'm just bummed that um, Sam Raimi, I mean, he kind of... 64! Sam Raimi invented the fucking blueprint for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Created the blueprint. Okay. Uh, with Spider Man, really, too. Spider Man 2, like, kind of perfected the whole MCU blueprint. Okay. Of, like, action comedy and, like, kind of the tone oh, gotcha. and the vibe of what the movie should look like. Uh huh. And what yeah. DC refuses to do? Well, they do it now because they did it with uh, Shazam. Oh, okay. And to an extent, Aquaman. Okay. But, um, yeah, I just feel like. Damn it. Stop pressing that button. It's right next to the other button that I need to switch Kongs. And what button? The select button. Oh. Oh, damn it. I thought it was a thing. I died. Hey, I died. <laughs> I died. Fucking sue me. Okay? I'm not, okay, I'm not perfect. I'm not fucking Tugboat McGuire. I'm not perfect. Tugboat perfect, okay? Fucking sue me then. Jesus. Christ. What level are you on now? I'm on barrel bottom, bottom feeder. Is this world five? Power bottom, I don't know. You don't know if this is World 5? This is World Power 5. Power Bottom? <laughs> it's, uh, yes, this is World 5. It's called K3, which is a play on words of K2, which is a famous snowy mountain. Yes, uh, I've heard about that from a Tenacious D song called um, History. Did you know? With Tenacious D. How do I do this one? This is a song called History with Tenacious D. Okay. And they mentioned they climbed K2. And then I googled what the fuck K2 was. Oh. And it's a mountain. Yeah. That you climb. Cool. Is it the tallest? No, that's Everest. Are you sure? I'm the tallest mountain in the world. Yep. In the universe. Yep. There's a mountain on Mars that's like four times taller than Everest. Uh yeah, Olymp Olympus Mons, I think. I think so. Yeah. Some sort of pretentious bullshit. And also uh, Moana Kea, Moana Loa. One of the I think Moana Loa, because that's where the observatory is. On Hawaii is technically a taller mountain if you start from where it starts on the bottom of the seafloor. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. Mm-hmm. But... We're getting, we're getting back to your idea of turning tuba players into an educational Back the video. fuck up. Okay. Back the fuck up. Should I go back to the future or just keep... Shut the fuck bit? up, you piece of shit. Okay. If you take Everest uh -huh. and you start it to the bottom of Earth's core. Yes. And out the other side. Then actually Earth is Earth's biggest mountain. Everest is still the tallest mountain. That is true. Because it spans from China all the way to the tip. Cool. I mean, look, I mean, look. Get that on a t-shirt. Listen, listen. What? Aren't all continents like attached to the sea floor? Yeah. So, so technically everything's a mountain. So it, I guess you would go from the top of Everest to the sea floor. And that would be the whole height of Everest, uh, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, because anything above the water is an island. That's uh -huh. where that's where land technically starts. Yes. Right. So anything below the water doesn't count. Fair. Or you'd have to count Everest 
down to the sea floor. You'd have to add all of that to it. Okay. Right? Yeah. Does it make sense? I'm just agreeing with you because I'm trying to stay real focused on what's going on. I'm trying to distract you so that you do better. Okay. But I make a valid point. You do. What counts as? God. <laughs> what is, what is, what counts? Con. Ah. Con. Rebecca Con. Con! This level's hard. You're doing fine. I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I've I don't know how you're fucking doing this, honestly. What do you mean? Grab onto that bird. No, that's that bird is like. Grab onto the fucking bird, dude. I can't. The bird will take you up there. No, it jumps when I jump. See. Grab on the fucking bird, you bitch. There we go. Off we go. See, now I have to, I have to protect the bird. Oh. See, because at the end it's probably gonna give me a coin or something. Shut the fuck up. Now that you've had Ten time. Ten more lives. Now that you've had time to think about it. Yeah. Would you throw your dog? Into a pool. 66. From four stories up in the sky. Jeffrey, we've been over for this. Five billion dollars. The answer is nine. Five billion dollars. Nine billion dollars. Oh, nine. Would you do it for nine billion? Yes. I bet you'd do it for a million bucks. I would not throw my dog out of window. I bet you'd do it for a hundred thousand dollars. Stop suggesting I'm some sort of animal like you. 67. I, look, he's going, jumping in the water. He'll be fine. No, he won't. Probably. We won't, Jeffrey. You don't think a dog could survive falling into water from four stories up, from 40 feet? No. Yes. No. They could. Man couldn't do that. <laughs> Man does it all the time at the Olympics, you bitch. No, he doesn't. You're saying the Olympics are a lie? We're because just... I've been saying that for years. We're... And now all of a sudden you're going to back me up on that? I've been saying the Olympics are bullshit for years. <laughs> now you're jumping on the fucking bandwagon. Fuck you! Where in this God's flat earth do you come with the <laughs> balls to argue with me? <laughs> God's flat earth! Anyway, we're gonna do an experiment, possibly not involving throwing my, my sweet, sweet puppy out a window. And uh, we'll come back to you next time. Thanks for the view, now comment, like, and subscribe, cause we're all just two-bit players.